Welcome to Stock Axe. I'm your host, John McPhee. I'm a cyber professional and stock market investor. However, I'm not a licensed financial professional, and I encourage you to speak to one before making financial decisions. Now that we've got that out the way, I want to say thank you to everyone who has subscribed to this channel. We have seen a big boost in subscribers in the last few days, and quite frankly, it's amazing. Whether you found me from YouTube or you came over from TikTok, your support means the world to me. Thank you so much. Unless you've been under a rock recently, you must have heard about the short squeeze that is being attempted by retail traders, fueled by the Reddit page, Wall Street Bets. Essentially what is happening is a figurative war against the large hedge funds by retail traders. For those of you who don't know what a retail trader is, it's a common stock market trader like you and I who buy shares in a personal account. A hedge fund by comparison is a limited partnership of investors that use high risk methods such as investing with borrowed money in hopes of realizing large capital gains. This is fine to borrow money in order to realize such gains. In fact, even I have and continue to use margin accounts to trade in my advantage. However, the issue with this is that they are not borrowing money to trade on a stock that they think will go up, but instead they are betting against a stock with the hopes that it will go down to lock in these capital gains. To understand this more, I want to go over some shorting basics. In a nutshell, so to speak, the hedge funds borrow shares from a brokerage at a certain cost, let's say $10. They have not paid $10 for these shares. They are borrowing them to sell. They then sell the shares at the current price of $10, hoping that the stock price falls so that when they are due to pay back the brokerage, they can pay less. Let's say that the price of the share when they borrow it is $10. They sell that share for $10 and then the share falls down to $5. By time they go to pay the brokerage back for the shares that they borrowed, they only have to pay $5 per share. This will net them a profit of 50% or $5 per share. That is how this works. Now ask yourself, does that sound very ethical? Now this question has been debated before, and I won't get too much into that. I want you to understand what influence do these short sellers have that can drive down a price? Well, they can release short reports and they can influence the markets to drive that price down. Commonly, short sellers will even end up on the news and cast fear in the mind of the market in order for them to sell their shares which in return drives the price down, netting them huge profits. Let's look at what's happening in the current markets. GameStop and other shares such as AMC have been overshorted by hedge funds. In fact, S3 reports that GameStop has a short interest of 113.31% of float while Ortex reports a short interest of 75%. This percentage ties back to the shorted amount of free floating shares. A free float is a representation of the amount of shares that is traded freely in the market and is not held up. For example, if a CEO is rewarded shares in the company, he may have a lockup period before those shares can be sold. This would not be included in a free float. So in the case of GameStop, the short interest actually exceeds the amount of free floating shares according to S3. This means that the hedge funds who were shorting this stock did not properly manage their risk, in my opinion. Let's jump into the Reddit page where the rally began. Wall Street Bets is a group on Reddit with millions of subscribers. Reddit allows these users to talk with one another through various posts. The users are regular retail traders ranging in ages with various levels of trading experience. There is a misconception that retail traders are unsophisticated traders who don't actually know what they are doing. Now, I disagree with that statement, and so did the Reddit. 
In fact, they were able to analyze the markets and figure out that GameStop had been overly shorted. Therefore, an army of Redditors decided to buy GameStop shares so that it would instead rise the price as opposed to fall in price. This would mean that the hedge funds betting against the stock would lose and be forced to buy the stock at a higher price. This is what's known as the short squeeze. And it's working. In the last month, GameStop has gone from under $20 a share to as high as $483 a share and is currently sitting at over $300 a share. The movement created by the Wall Street Bets Reddit has resonated with retail traders who continue to buy and hold the stock so that more shorts will have to cover their positions and buy the stock at a higher price. This will drive the price of the shares even higher. When a hedge fund shorts a stock, they aren't shorting one or two. They are shorting millions worth at times. So when they have to cover the millions of dollars of shares that are now sitting at above $300 per share, this will create a lot of upward buying pressure, sending the stock to the moon. The same thing is happening with AMC, which has also been heavily shorted. In the last month, AMC has gone from $2 a share to as high as $19.90 a share and is currently sitting over $13 a share. During all of this, we have seen some questionable activity happening from brokerages such as Robinhood. Many believe that the brokerage firms are trying to drive the price of these shares down by placing restrictions on their platforms. On Thursday, for example, if you held shares of either of these companies, GameStop or AMC, you were not even given an option to buy, but only an option to sell. This caused panic selling and drove the price down. This is ironic considering Robinhood in particular is named after the story of Robin Hood who stole from the rich to give to the poor. But in this case, it seems that they are protecting the billionaires who happen to be big investors in their business rather than protecting us little guys. To be clear, Robin Hood denies such claims. What's amazing, however, is the price of both of these stocks have come back up. This is largely due to the Reddit group Wall Street Bets encouraging everyone to hold their shares and even buy more shares. The whole goal is to try to make the hedge funds suffer a large loss by covering their shorts way higher than they ever expected to. The end goal for the people holding these stocks, and I am indeed one of them, is to force the hedge funds into the squeeze which drives the price, rocket high, and then we can cash out on them. Some of you may be wondering, is this even possible? And the answer is maybe. In fact, it has happened before. We can look back to the short squeeze of 2008. In 2008, hedge funds were shorting Volkswagen stock. In retaliation to this short, Porsche decided to buy lots and lots of shares. This drove the price up and eventually the hedge funds who were shorting the stock were forced to buy the stock in the amount of $30 billion, which made the Volkswagen share price intensify. They were, for that moment, the most valuable company in the world. They made more money that year selling stocks than they did selling cars. Could the same thing happen with GameStop, AMC, or other heavily shorted positions? Potentially. Only time will tell. But if those of you who own the shares continue to hold, and many more even buy, eventually the hedge funds will have to cover their shorts, and a squeeze may happen again. I want to be clear here. I am not advocating for you to go out and buy these stocks. In fact, 
I would recommend you do your own research before you decide whether or not this is something you want to be a part of. Personally, I have decided to invest with the intent to hold until a short squeeze happens. If it doesn't happen and the stock plummets, I will be okay to lose my investment. There are substantial risks involved, but to me, it has become more than that. This to me is about the potential transfer of wealth from the billionaires to us little guys. And in addition, this is about sticking it to these guys that will panic the market to sell while they hold positions and look to profit billions. I will continue to hold and buy more when I am able to. Now that you have an idea of what is happening in the markets today related to the Wall Street bets versus the hedge funds, go do your own due diligence. Go read some articles, watch the news, and do your own research. Thanks for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Don't forget to hit the like button, and I'll see you again next time.